Okay, take three. Uh, yeah, I fucked this video up a few times already, so. <laughs> kind of frustrating when that happens. Uh, this actually happened to be in the last time, in the last video. I was using the camera input. Anyway. There we go. So hopefully, hopefully it sounds fine now. So this is a super fast how to uh, connect jack. It's a how to on how to connect jack uh, and use it for streaming, recording, and stuff like that. You can use it on any browser app, you know, like Meet or Zoom or whatever you're using. I hope you're not using Zoom, by the way. Uh, don't get hacked like the rest of them. But anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how to use Jack in a browser-friendly way again, uh, just to help you record your videos better, right? You can, it's really cool because you can connect your piano, if you have a piano like this one, or, or some plugin, and play on a Meet session, and it sounds good, you know? It sounds great, so I'm actually going to enable this camera. I have a camera on the piano. Anyway, first thing. You need to, wait, you need to make things readable for the people that are going to watch the video. So first thing, I'm using Fedora here, Fedora 32. So uh, first thing is, there you go. Told you it was a third take. So first thing, check that you have Pulse Audio Module Jack, right? Um, this will help you uh, include Jack as a source and as a sync in Pulse Audio terms. Uh, so you can actually connect stuff to it and from it, you know? You can send stuff to Pulse Audio and you can put stuff from Pulse Audio into Jack. So this is the first thing. Second thing, installed this thing called uh, TND. That thing, install it and start it to service, systemctl, enable now. TND, and that should be enough, you know. Yeah, because otherwise it's going to be turned off. So when you turn that on, go to regular user mode, TND ADM uh, profile. So you get a list of profiles. I recommend this one because real time doesn't actually work for me. It sends an error. I don't know if it partially works. Probably, yeah. But anyway. Better just to use uh, latency performance. This one works fine. Sets a few kernel parameters and stuff and sets your governor to performance, which is what you want when you're doing uh, recording or whatever. And the rest of the time you should use balanced. But anyway, how do you set it? So as a regular user, tune D, ADM, profile, balanced. And there you go. It applies the balanced profile. If you want to see what it did, there it is somewhere. Well, I have a few hackers trying to hack me right now, which is amusing. Anyway, <coughs> profile latency performance is the one we want. Uh, FT, TND, I think, or something. I don't know how to check the, what TND did, but anyway. Set it to that, right? Uh, second thing, as a regular user, PACTL, load module, module again, jack. You have to load source and sync, obviously. So yeah, load them both once, just once. Uh, Pulse Audio will remember that actually. So when you start using them, Pulse Audio remembers, it turns them, unloads them automatically or uh, removes them from the list of, of devices when Jack is off and adds them again automatically when Jack is on. So let's check out Jack. Uh, QJack, I use QJack control. You can use Carla if you like. I think Carla actually has a button that you click it and it sets everything up. I don't know. Uh, so set up. The first thing is, yeah, you want, th these headphones don't support lo very low latency. So 256 is what I want to use. And why do I reference these headphones because they're USB, so they're connected directly to a <laughs> hard drive enclosure and then from the hard drive enclosure to, yeah, I know. Anyway, and you want the, these in pairs, two is preferred. Uh, this works with, the, these headphones should work with anything, you know, your sample rate. Um, 
with I have a Behringer XR18, uh, a mixer that works fine with Linux. Actually, you have all the inputs in the world with that one, so you can set it to 128, and it works great. Not right now. So, second thing, output and input devices should be set correctly. I mean, you have a, I have a few. This is the monitor. Imagine that, and then what the webcam and the audio for the headphones. So yeah, headphones set. The other thing I use because of software I use is Enable Jack Dbus, these two, and yeah, pretty much that. I mean, these are my settings, copy them if you like. Mm -hmm. So, this is the graph, by the way, I didn't talk about it. It's turned, Jack is turned off, but basically right now it's showing MIDI devices. Yeah. And, now, we will check this, this out. So, these are my audio settings, right? No jack sync for now, anywhere to be seen, but that will change in a second. So, uh, we start jack, and you'll lose me, by the way. You won't hear anything I say. And you can hear me now, but just one side, right? Let me connect the other side. Hello, hello, hello. So you can hear me. So this is the way to connect it. Um, you would want to listen to yourself if you're singing or something, or probably because you just wanna, you like the sound, the tone of your voice. So you can just connect this there and this there, uh, click and drag. And now I hear myself, which is unnecessary completely right now. I'll just remove this. Okay. Um, so now, how do how will I demonstrate how this works? Easy. I'll use Pianotech, my favorite piece of proprietary proprietary software. I don't know how to say that in English. Software proprietario. So anyway, um, this thing rocks. It's a yeah. It's a commercial now, right? This is a simulator. It's a simulator that simulates piano sounds and all kinds of sounds, and it's more than awesome. You have to check it out if you're interested in these things, even if it's proprietary software. It works, it works on Linux, that, that's on GNU Linux. That's more than many are doing, you know? So anyway, so excuse my English, not my primary language. Uh, so now, if I play it, I can hear it, but you can't. This is, why is this? Because it's connected only to Pulse Audio, uh, not Pulse Audio, to my system, which is what this thing calls it. So basically, I can hear it, but it's not being sent through the jack uh, sync to the browser, which is what we selected as default, right? Right here. So we need to connect it to the jack sync, which is, in this case, is the source. So it's going to come out through here, through my yeah where the channel where my voice is so i'll connect it right now there we go so now you can you you should be able to hear it i'll play yuffie's song Yeah, I know I suck at piano, but <laughs> I have fun at least. Uh, so you you probably heard some. <laughs> it's not me farting. It's uh, X runs from from 
Yeah, from Jack. I need to, and I know why actually. RT, real time, is not, you know, it's kind of in and out, so I need to fix that. That's fixed uh, editing security limits. That. Probably I need to set this to a different number and obviously be a member of Jack user and Pulse RT. Yeah, both better. So, am I a member? Uh, Pulse RT, Jack user, yeah. So, probably this number has to be higher or something. Uh, yeah, I'll look into it. You should look into it too if you want to do this. Probably it's my headphones because actually I never have problems with the XR18. Always sounds great. I never have an X run. And I don't know if it has anything to do, you know, but, eh, well. So that's how you set it up. I hope you have fun. You can connect any number of devices. Actually, you can open up more piano techs and, or other instruments, right? And connect them and, and do a whole, you, you could even, in fact, you could even use calf here. Calf. And you could master your sound. So you could connect, you know, add, I don't know, a uh, multi-compressor and multi, uh, where are the compressors? Yeah, multi-band compressor. These are awesome. So if you want to do a bit of compression and stuff, it will enhance your, your, your sound a lot. Just, you know, you need to connect a lot of stuff here. <laughs> it's going to be kind of hard. But yeah, I mean, you connect your piano to the input and then the output goes to the, well, I'd rather have a, an EQ first. Yeah, eight band should be enough if it's parametric. So yeah, you connect piano tech to the, to the equalizer and then output goes to like this, I'll show you. EQ, oh, EQ, EQ, then EQ goes to multiband compressor. And multiband compressor goes to that. And yeah, I want to listen to the final sound anyway. So yeah, you still need to tweak this and, well, first of all, the bass cut for the piano should be like that. Yeah, so you don't hear it anymore. Actually, you can click on analyzer here, so you don't hear the blah, you know, which sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. In this case, the piano, you don't want that. Anyway, that's the video, so have fun with it, and bye-bye. Somebody's knocking the door, so I have to leave. Bye.